What's up guys and welcome back to On The Break. A few weeks or months ago, I made a video talking about this guy who goes by the name of TH and in that video I mentioned how he claims to have made the quote unquote best mocks out there and that no one else can do what he does. One of those mocks being this UT-80 which I did mention building so that I could talk about it in that video and then ended up removing most of what I said in that video because I knew I was making this video. His rebrickable page, which admittedly is a little outdated, does say that this is an accumulation of two months of hard works designing and it is a sturdy structure for any good play or simply displaying in a mock. And let me tell you, well, half of that sentence is definitely false. This is, without a doubt, and unironically, one of the worst builds I have ever seen. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt and see that maybe it wasn't just all ego and his builds really were that good, even though you could tell just by looking at the pictures that they certainly had some flaws. But this set barely held together long enough for me to film this video, which isn't what I would call sturdy. Now that does come with a huge asterisk on it. See, this set was originally designed for Minifig Madness who has since rebranded, and regardless of what they call themselves, they are a company I encourage you to avoid. Their quality control and customer service and products in general are just pretty poor. And when this set first released uh, several years ago, it was limited to only 250, a quota which was never met. Yeah, you were able to buy this set all the way until he rebranded and decided they weren't going to be selling custom mocks anymore. Now, you can still get this from his rebrickable page. The instructions are actually free. There's no part list included with that, but if you know how to use rebrickable, that's literally not an issue. And honestly, I should have done that, but I was checking out Mars Toy and they actually sell this for ridiculously cheap, so I figured why not? And I know that that definitely led to some of the issues that I had building this, but I will attest, as I will always attest, that a well enough design will surpass any quality of bricks. What I mean to say is that the bricks are not the issue here. There is one minor part that is quite literally irrelevant to the structure, which I did have an issue with, but outside of that, it was the design that came through again and again and again that I kept seeing issues with. And then, on top of all of that, the instructions are rather poorly made as well. And I did use his actual instructions, again they are free. In fact, let me show you what I mean. When you are building one of these side panels, step 85 here, you have this sub model where you have the two modified bricks with the holes in it and then the bar going through them. Well, several steps later, you attach this entire panel onto the main frame of the build and you'll notice, wait a minute, that bar is actually supposed to go through some Technic pieces you put earlier. Something which is much more difficult to do at this point and not clearly indicated at all. If you're going to claim to have the quote unquote best builds out there, things like this matter. You have to get the smaller details, like steps like this in your instructions, correctly. And unfortunately, like I said, the end product itself just isn't that good. The feet, if you will, of the UTAT really aren't that sturdy. This is what they look like. You build 16 of these and they really just don't stay on that well, especially considering that you have to move this thing somehow and when you put your hands underneath there, they're just gonna pop off. And things like that need to be taken into consideration when designing your builds. Another very minor gripe of mine is this back medical pack thing here, which is just the completely wrong color. For some reason, TH designed this entirely in reddish brown when it's very clearly just a dark red. The cockpit has pretty much nothing inside of it. You can fit a single minifig and that's quite literally it. I mean, I guess technically you can fit more in there, but 
there's no design here there's just half a seat if i can call it that and just to show you it can open from the top that's the only way of accessing it it doesn't slide out from the front or anything the panel all the way in the back quite literally just sits on the build that's actually not a problem plenty of sets do that and this is one of the only areas of the model that i think is designed pretty well the greebling looks cool it matches what we see I don't really have any issues with this section, but inside the model underneath the panels are, well, nothing really. It's all just pretty empty. There's a total of four seats, which is extremely lackluster, and I can't really blame TH for this one, but just based off of what we've seen from other Republic ships and the color scheme that most people use, aka sand blue, I would say that for me the seats are the wrong color. That is super nitpicky, that one's on me. But still, there's not really much of an excuse for there to be such limited room inside of this and such nothing inside of this. It's like he forgot that he had to design anything here. And I know that this is play scale, but still. On another personal note, I don't really like how the front here was done. It leaves way too many gaps, and it just isn't really that good looking. I know that's a weird thing to keep saying, but again, if you're gonna claim to have the best, I expect the best. And honestly, I'm kinda just done, and to show you why, here's me trying to move this to f keep filming, and then this happened. So yeah, if this thing can't really hold itself together while I'm just trying to turn it around, then by no means will I consider it to be anything near the best. Look, the truth is that there are just so many other better sets out there, regardless of what you're looking for. From Brick Vault to Rebrickable to plenty of random people on Instagram. And with that said, I would really appreciate it if you left your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to like this video if you liked what you saw, and subscribe to help keep this channel going. Thank you all so much for watching. Here's another video you can watch.